And we're underway, folks, as Bronte loses the face off to share it. Shoot it. Here the general's coming out of the zone. Here's Hatton with the puck. He falls. And now we have McCanny with the puck. He goes back to Nagel. Nagel will cross. To Gaudette. Gaudette throws it up. Here comes McCanny up the boards. Hatton knocks it out of the air. He looks for Bronte across the left wing. Here's Bronte. Carries over the line. Looks. Looks to drop it off for Calden. He can't get it. Pucks at the half wall. Bronte and Nagel there. Calden with the puck behind the net. Throws it in front. No one's there. Here's Hatton with the puck in the corner now. Goes up top. There's Kring. Kring gets a shot on net. Sticked away by Stenazzi. And the Generals are going to come out at the zone. Here's Kring with the puck. Kring over to Hatton. Hatton throws it into the feet of Bronte. Newly named captain of the Wilkes-Barre Stratton Knights. And here comes number two, Liam McKenney. Goes all the way down to the goal line. Makes a move and gets a quick shot. Stays goes there on his pads. And the puck's going to go out up back to action. No change for the Knights. The Generals will change up their D. They'll go with Lambert and Hennigan. With the Shewitt line against the Knights' top line. Here's Hennigan through the middle. Bronte's able to... Touch it. Near Shearer over to Meyer. Meyer with the puck. Sauces it through the middle over to Bronte. Bronte gains the blue line. Looks for Shearer. Shearer stopped up. And here come the generals coming out of the zone. Here's Moretta. Goes wide. Throws a shot back door onto the side of the blocker side of Zach Stasco. And he's able to put it into the corner. Here's Hennigan with the puck now at the center ice. Goes back over his blue line. Throws it off the wall. Looking for Moretta. Moretta with a little tip pass over to Shewitt. Shewitt. Takes a shot right into the chest of Zach Stasko, and he's able to cover up. And again, behind the net with the puck. Out in front, through the middle. Mancuso can't control it at center. Stasko throws it to Kring. Kring makes a nice little fake, and he's up to Hatton. Hatton over to Bronte. Calgen and Bronte run into each other, but Bronte ends up with the puck. He's blown by them wide, and now he's behind the net into the corner. Goes up top, takes a big hit. Calgin out with the puck in front, and he scores! <laughs> Calgin ends up with the puck in the front, and that beats Stenazzi, blocker side. And the Knights take a 1-0 lead, 12-28 left here in the first period. The Knights will make a change. Here comes Curry, Rubinich, and a couple turnovers. Bronte ends up with the puck now. He gets over the blue line. He takes Gaudette wide, throws it on net, looking for a rebound. And Stenazzi is there, kicks it to the side. As Evan looks to take a slap shot from the left point, that gets deflected. Faceoff will stay inside with 11 minutes here left to play in the first period. Shots all tied up, 7-7. Generals bring out their second line, Trevor Smith, Ryan Kuzmik, and Tyler Cooper. Knights stick with their top unit, Tyrone Bronte, John Calgin, Lincoln Hatton. Evans and Kring on the point for the Knights, Gaudette and Nagel for the Generals. Generals able to win the faceoff, but the Knights control it. Evans takes a shot from the point, toast saved by Stenazzi, goes into the corner, Bronte with the puck behind the net. Bronte looks to shoot, puck's loose in front. Loose in front, and Calgin has a second of the game. He's able to tip it in. Bronte threw the puck in front for Hatton. Hatton took a shot, went five hole, and Stenazzi couldn't find it. John Calgin's there on the back door and able to tip it on in. John Calgin's second goal of the game. 10-47 left here in the first. Two nothing Knights. They bring out Lambright, Hennigan, Ring. Kerner. And DiStefani. Knights have Calgin, Murphy, Kring, and Shearer out there for the penalty kill. Here's Hennigan at the top of the umbrella. Over to DiStefani. He tries to go crossover to Ring. Here's Kring with the puck. He's taking Hennigan wide. Hennigan throws his shoulder. He's able to steal the puck. Hennigan with the puck. Over his own blue line. Moves it over to Ring. Calgin knocks his man off the puck. And Murphy is able to clear all the way down. Uh, 
Pratt and Calgin alongside defensemen Kring and Evans. Generals bring out the Mancuso, Boysen, and Reed line with Gaudette and Nagel at the point. Bronte with a clean face-off win, gets it back to Evans. Evans takes a shot, looking for a tip. And right into the breadbasket of Stenezzi. We'll redo the face-off here with 6.36 left to play in the... As Bronte is able to win another face-off, however, the Generals are going to end up with control of the puck. Here's Hennigan behind the net. Has one guy fly in the zone, that's Cooper Reed. He's not able to find him. Calgin keeps it in at the blue line. Calgin takes a shot that's deflected in front by Bronte, and that's going to be sticked away. Here's Evans now with the puck. Him and Hatton try to play catch, but puck ends up at, into the night zone. Here's Kring at the top of the circles. He dishes it off to Evans. Goes to the goal line. He throws it up. Calgin tips it over to Hatton. Hatton looks to the middle for Bronte, and he's not going to find him. Kring's able to throw it in after a turnover, however, and the Generals have it behind the net. That's Lambright. Lambright looking for Reed. Bounces off of Manzo's stick into the night zone. Stasco plays it over to Smith. Smith looks for Haslam. Hatton with Mancuso. Boyson and Lambright. Bronte wins the faceoff against Boyson. Here's Hatton. Has a guy flying in the zone. That's Calgin. Calgin with two goals already in this period. Calgin in on the four check. Beats his man to the puck. There's Hennigan and Bronte and Calgin all fighting for it. Generals end up with the puck. Here's Hennigan in the corner. Hennigan pokes it away. Now Bronte with it in the corner. Generals have the puck at the top of the half wall. And they're able to clear it out. Here's Reed. He throws it in. Haslam and Mancuso will be the first to the pucks. The puck. Hatton and Boysen. And Calgin's able to clear out. Knights get a change. They bring out Rubinich, Curry. The Generals start their top line. Haslam and Smith on the point for the Knights. Nagel and Gaudet on the point for the Generals. Bronte wins the faceoff. Back to Smith. Smith over to Haslam. Through the middle to Bronte. Bronte off the wall. Gaudet's going to collect that at the top of his circles. Gaudet over to Nagel. Nagel goes up the bench side boards. Gets to the red line, throws it in deep. That's going to be on net. And Zach Stasco is going to cover. And Bronte gets the worst half of that face off there as Ring's able to win this time. Gaudet keeps the puck in. Here's Di Stefani. Down low, Ring. And he walks out in front. And Zach Stasco is able to pick that up. That's a great A scoring chance for the Yankuso on the wing. Boysen in the middle, and Reed on the other wing. The fight for the puck in the middle. No one can seem to grab it. Bronte slaps it back to his own end. Here's Meyer with the puck in the middle. He looks to throw it up. Bronte's able to get under it, but he not corral it. Here's Boysen at his own blue line. He gets bodied up on by Lincoln Hatton, and the Generals are going to throw it into the corner. Shearer's going to be the first one to the puck. He circles back. He flips one over to Meyer. Meyer goes back to Shearer. Shearer can't get good wood on it. And that's going to be a turn turnover as Boysen's almost able to find the back of the net. Here's Shearer with the puck again. He goes through the middle looking for Calgin. He can't corral it. And that's going to be an icing on the Knights. They're not allowed to change. Zach Stasco, Minnesota Duluth. As the Knights have the puck, here's Meyer behind the net with it. Meyer gets out in front. Looks over to the wing. That's Hatton. Hatton leaves it off to the side for Bronte. Bronte throws it in. Calgin's going to slot into the boards, and he's not going to be able to get the puck. As the Generals knock it out, Meyer takes a big hit, and the Generals have numbers if they're able to turn quick, which they are. Shot goes wide by McCanny. And the puck's in the corner now. Here's Lambright. He gets wrapped up. And the puck goes in front. Big pad save by Zach Stasekul. They had two Generals there in front. And Meyer bodies up on McCanny, but here's the puck behind the net. That's Moretta. Out front, Hannigan. He can't find the net. As Hatton takes the puck and a big hit. That's McCanny. Physical play, certainly picking up here. And that puck's going to end up in the ceiling. Knights go with four forwards. Calgin, Curry, who's in the face-off circle. Rubinich on the boards. Smith and Oslev, the fourth forward. 
And the Knights aren't able to win the faceoff as Smith's able to control it. Avoids the hand pass by touching it. And turns it over as Gaudette's able to clear, but hits the ceiling. And Rubinich will come in for the faceoff this time. Curry goes to his wing. And Rubinich is able to win it to Smith. Smith with the puck in front of his own bench. Now Curry at the half wall. Curry down low to Rubinich at the goal line. Back to Curry at the half wall. Rubinich goes from the corner to behind the net. And they're going to work the other side. Here's Asilev at the half wall. He gives it back to Rubinich. Kaljan gets in the way. Now Kaljan and Rubinich battling Gaudet and Nagel. And we're still battling. Asilev joins in. And the Kaljan's going to come out with the puck. He goes over to Smith. Smith over to Curry. Curry, quick shot. He misses wide. Knights are not able to keep at the blue line as Smith is getting harassed. He gets brought down. No call on the play. Smith with the puck. He moves it over to Curry. Curry has some time and space. Curry goes wide to the goal line. He's behind the net. Now into the corner. He gets hit. Here's Rubinich with the puck. Walks out of the corner. He takes a shot. And it's the, shoots through the legs of Smith. And, and Stasekul is able to stick it aside. Puck comes out of the zone. Here's Hennigan in his own blue line. Throws in front of the Knights bench for Cam Gaudet. Calgin on Gaudet. He boxes him out. Calgin looks to throw it in front. He's not able to. Bronte ends up with the puck. Bronte and Manzo can't seem to communicate. Lose the puck together. Here's Hennigan. Pull a little outside inside move. He gets taken down. Here's Evans with the puck. He throws it up. Bronte with a foot race. He's going to blow by Reed. And he's going to take it behind the net. Here's Hatton with it. He tries to throw it to Bronte. That gets intercepted. Here's Kring with the puck now at the top of the circles. Calgin with it. He tries to throw it in front. Hennigan steps in front of it. And Hennigan throws it across the ice for Charlie Reed as he throws it in front for Mancuso. No one's there. Down low, here's Boisin. Boisin gets bodied up on by Kring. And Bronte's able to lift out as far as moves it all the way down. Here's Stasco with the puck. He leaves it for Kring. Knights get a change. Kring moves it through center. Here's Calgin over the blue line. Calgin stops. Knights right now have their top line out together. Hatton throws it around for Rubinich. Rubinich down low to Bronte. Bronte at the half wall. Walks across the circles. Now he's in the slot. And he takes a shot into the chest of Stenazzi with Gaudet, McCanny, and Gearman for the last 45 of the penalty. Rubinich is able to keep it in. A clearing attempt by Gearman, and Moretta is able to clear it out. Here's Stasco with the puck in front of the net. Waiting for some help. He goes forehand to Smith. Smith plays it behind for Rubinich. Rubinich coming up the right-hand side. He's going to change it up and go left now. Over the red line, over the blue line. He's dumping in, chasing himself. General's clear as far as Calgin at the half wall. Down low to Curry. And Gearman can't clear as Smith with a good keep at the point. Smith goes all the way down to Calgin on the far side of the net. Now we're on our side, not the bench side. And Calgin has it. He leaves it down low for Curry in the corner. Curry's going to walk out. Penalty is over. Back to five on five here. As Calgin throws it in front, looking for Asilev. He can't find him. Asilev behind the net still. As the Knights find a way to get two defensemen back out there, Smith and Meyer are going to be the two. And we're going to have... Here's Ring with the puck. Now Lambright. Lambright over the blue line. Cuts through the middle. Little do -si do now. Sits there, still waits. Takes a, a shot, more like a dunk into the corner. It gets deflected. Hatton, pressure in the point, man. Now back up to Lambright in front of his own bench. Fakes a shot. Goes over to Mancuso with a one-timer. Right into the stick of Stasco. And he's able 3-3. Knights bring out their top line, John Calgin, Lincoln Hatton, Tyrone Bronte, alongside Caden Meyer and Spencer Kring. As the Generals win the faceoff, puck goes from the corner to down low. Here's Reed with the puck down low. That's Kring and Reed battling for it. Kring with the puck, he's able to carry out of the zone. He gets as far as the blue line, dumps it in. Bronte in on the four check. 
And Stanazzi is going to cover up and avoid any trouble. And the Knights will only bring out Evans for Meyer. As Nagel and Gaudette, defensive pair for the Generals. Smith, Kuzmic, and Cooper, the forwards for the Generals. Chris Kring with the puck. He takes a shot, blocked in front and into the corner. Bronte with a big hit. And here come the Generals. Here's Cooper over the blue line. Cooper leaves it. And that's a big shot. Saved by the chest of Stasekul. Knights have numbers if they hurry. Four on two. And Calgary's going to throw it towards the net. Bronte able to collect the puck after Stasny sticks it to the side. Hatton takes an awkward angle shot. Stanazzi's there to cover, to, to stop it. Generals come up. They're over the Knights' blue line. And that's going to be a turnover. As the Knights clear the zone, here's Nagel. At his own blue line, now he's on top of the circles. He moves it over to his defense partner, Cam Gaudet. Gaudet's able to reach the blue line, throws it into the far corner as he's looking for Cooper. And here are the Generals. Right at the top, here's Moretta. As the Knights do have a power penalty kill already. Here in the third period. Down low to Shewitt. Shewitt over to McKinney behind the net. Here's Moretta at the top of his circles. Over to Gearman at the top of the umbrella. And that's going to be sent all the way down by Caden Meyer. The Knights have Calgin, Hatton, Meyer, and Evans for the last 21 of the penalty kill. Ring's able to win the faceoff. Here's Lambright with the puck. Down low to, to Ring now. Ring in the corner with it. He goes down low. Here's Kerner. They cycle down low again. Lambright. Now up top to Hennigan. Over to the top of the circle for Lambright. And Calgin's able to intercept and go all the way down. And that's going to be the end of the Bronte penalty. As Hatton's in on the forecheck. And the Generals are able to get it around. Here's Kerner at the half wall. He gets it out to center. Haslam throws it in. Bronte in on the forecheck against Lambright. Lambright fakes the, the lead for Nagel. Here's Hatton with it. First line, Bronte, Hatton, Calgin, alongside Evans and Kring. And the Generals will keep their same forwards, but go with Nagel and Gaudette on the point. Shewitt and Bronte in for the faceoff. Bronte's able to win it. Kring plays it back to Evans. Evans around the ball. Wall to Calgin. Calgin can't keep up with it. Nagel throws a shot behind the glass. Here's Hatton with it now. Hatton through the middle to H Bronte. Bronte tries to beat Nagel. He can't. Here's McCanny with the puck. He turns it over. Evans is able to play it in deep. Here's Gaudette with it at the half wall. He's harassed by Hatton. Now Calgin with the puck. He throws it in front. And Stanazzi is able to grab it and freeze it. 14 about he can't, and now it does. Here's Boysen with the puck in front of the Knights bench. He pulls up and waits, tries to throw one in front. He can't find anybody. Here's Shear. Shear gets the puck out, and then gets taken down. Here's Meyer now. He's able to play it up to Calgin. Calgin crosses the blue line, goes wide. Now he's behind the net, throws in front. Meyer takes a shot off the pad of Stanazzi. Here's Hatton behind the net. Over to Bronte, that, that gets blocked in front. I think that was Gaudet. Here's Calgin, he gets a shot from the top of the circles. That's sticked aside by Stanazzi. Hatton gets bodied up by Gaudet in the corner. And Evans isn't able to clear, and Evans loses his stick. He kicks it over to Kring. And Bronte has the puck. Bronte circles, able to throw it in. Here's Gearman with the puck. He tries to flip out. Hatton stops that at the blue line. Now it's out. Gearman with it. Over the blue line. And Reed very offside. Couple steps there. And we'll have a face off right in front of Dake. Here's Lamb right behind the net. He leaves it for Nagel who switches spots with him. Now Shewitt with the puck. He goes through the middle. Now Lamb right. Makes a move around Kring. Still with it. Di Stefani is able to grab it. He gets towards the net. Nothing there. Stasekul is able to poke check it. 
puck comes across. Here's Evans with it over the blue line, gets it in deep. Calgin in on the forecheck against Ring. Ring throws it around to DiStefani at the half wall. As the Knights are able to keep it in, Calgin's shot's blocked by Nagel. Here's Bronte and Hatton. Hatton throws a spin around back pass. No one's there. Now, here comes Krenner. He tries to make a move around Meyer. He can't get by. Nagel with the puck now. He throws it in deep. Stasco blockers it away. Meyer knocks it out of the air, so Ring can't have it. And Calgin bodies up. Here's Evans now. Evans can't clear. Generals with the puck. Generals look to go across. There's Ring. Ring goes back to Nagel at the point. He throws a shot, looking for a deflection in front. He's looking for Mancuso there. He can't find him. Bronte's looking for Hatton on the half. As Bronte and Schuert will come in for the faceoff to the glove hand side of Stanazzi. Here's Nagel with the puck behind the net. He uses Gaudet and goes around. Here's Poison able to chip it in deep. Evans and Schuert, the first one's there. Schuert bodies Evans off the puck. Puck ends up in front of the net. Stasekul's able to stick it aside. Here's Boisin. He gets a shot off, and Stasekul's able to. As the Knights bring out Bronte, Hatton, Calgin, and Kring. The Generals have DiStefani, Nagel. They go back to the faceoff circle. Blocker side of Stenazzi. Bronte's able to win it clean. Here's Kring with the puck. Knights 5 on 3, 313 left to play here in the third period. Hatton finds Haslam. Shots blocked in front. Bronte to the puck. Generals aren't able to clear. Here's Kring with it. Kring waits, takes a shot. That's fought off by Stanazzi. Here's Hatton with the puck now. Hatton off to Kring. Kring with the puck. He corrals it. Now Haslam, he settles it. He's at the top of the circles in front of the Generals bench. Now to Kring at the top of the umbrella. Here's Hatton from a weak angle. And that's going to be shot into the stand. Once again, 2.45 left in a 3-3 game. Game one of three this weekend. Here's Haslam with the puck in the neutral zone. Now Calgin. Calgin moves it over the boards. Bronte picks it up, looks to pick it up. Here's Moretta. And Moretta is able to clear it all the way down. Stasco out to play it. He leaves it for Haslam. Haslam moves it across the ice. Here's Asilev. Asilev settles in. He's at the left point. Moves it over to Calgin, who's at the top of the umbrella. Here's Haslam now. Calgin. Down low to Hatton. Hatton to Bronte. Bronte goes board down. And that's a power play goal for the Knights with 2.10 here. Left in the third. They're going to take the lead. As this top line for the Knights continues to produce points, there's a, a key point. For them and Hennigan. Bronte and Ring in the face off circle. Bronte's able to win it through his legs. He gains the zone. He hits the post. And Calgin's able to play it deep. Calgin still has the puck. Calgin looking to hang on to it. Here's Krenner with the puck behind the net. He finds Di Stefani coming out of the zone. Di Stefani goes through the middle. And Kring is able to clear out. Di Stefani now with the puck in the corner. Evans behind the net is battling Krenner. Kring in front. Lots of traffic. Kring with the puck in the corner. Ten seconds left. He's going to be able to get it out. And that's going to be a high stick on Hennigan. But the puck goes out. Quick shot. He's not able to do it. 